It's time to blow out the candles. Remember to make a wish, honey. That's my boy. Very good. Happy birthday, son. Did you see that, Dad? Man, they grow up fast. I bet you can remember my sixth birthday like it was yesterday. Mary, could you please clean up? Lucius can help you with the dishes. He can stay up later this evening to play with his new toys, but in bed no later than 10. Yes, ma'am. Ready for bed. If I put the pieces together, this all started years back, with the arrival of a new life. Dante Manor was a place filled with darkness, and there were outward ambitions and hidden histories in that house. I tried to help. I should not have become so involved. But how these things unfold when we are thrust on the scene? I can't account for it all. For my part in these events, I waive responsibility. But it's there. It's a mark. A mark I should have noticed. At its source, at the center of it all, was the boy.
Detective McGuffin. What do we got here? It looks like a cardiac arrest, sir. The woman collapsed in the walk-in freezer. This was probably caused by the sudden change of temperature. She was in her mid-fifties. Typical of women her age. Did you talk with the owner of the house? No, sir. They're waiting for you in the kitchen. How can something like this happen, Detective? Was it a seizure of some kind? We'll look into it, but it looks like a case of misadventure. I'd ask that you stay clear of the kitchen and keep staff away while we clean up. Just relax and focus on getting life back to normal. Thanks, Detective. We'll try our best. Hi, Jean. Thank goodness you're here. Things are a mess. This could have real negative repercussions in an election year. <clears throat> <sighs> it's a private matter, and an unfortunate accident. The press will keep out of it. I've seen to that. I could always count on you, Jean. Make yourself at home while I tidy up some papers. Just ring for Alistair if you need anything. Take all the time you need. What can I say, Mr. Wagner? This is a real unfortunate series of events. Quite uncanny. Jean was my campaign manager and a friend of the family for many years. I'll be lost without him. I know this must be a difficult time for you, but we really must do an investigation here. I'll need to speak to your handyman about the gas leak. This shouldn't have happened. I had a feeling there was something weird going on in that house. I couldn't quite yet put the pieces together, so I took a step back for a while, let it brew. And after a few weeks, the call came in. Just when things were getting back to normal, there had been another accident in that godforsaken house. It happened on a rainy day. I think it was Tuesday. The janitor, who was known to be quite the drinker, was fixing a bathroom in the Lower West Wing.
I hate to tell you this, Mr. Wagner, but it seems your handyman is drunk as a skunk. He was an accident waiting to happen. I was going to fire him after the other incidents, but I just didn't have the heart. It's hard enough to keep the staff here with recent events. You can't blame yourself. This might be the worst case of professional neglect I've ever come across. While this might explain the gas leak, it still doesn't explain the death in the walk-in cooler. The autopsy on the maid was inconclusive, but we're still working on the theory she had a poor heart or circulation problems and fainted. This situation is ridiculous, Mr. Wagner, and I'm holding off the Bureau from launching an inquiry. I'm posting a deputy at the house. It's more for your own protection. I wish I could explain these as more than accidents, but I can't think of a motive. I can't imagine how anyone could have gotten away with this. We'll get to the bottom of it. Just consider this house on lockdown until something comes up. It wasn't a pretty sight. Heads sawn in half and blood everywhere. These freak accidents were keeping me up at night. Four deaths in four months, all apparent accidents. But I had my doubts. I still had no clear suspects, no motives, no way to even start an investigation. At this point, I was only sure about one thing. It was not going to end here. I was right about that. Another month went by when we got the call to go back to the house. But this time it was different. This time, it was murder. This is a clear case of poisoning, and I need to interview everyone in the house again. Who prepares the food around here now? I think it was Jovita, but I can't imagine she would be capable of something like this. Oh my god! Why is this happening? It's for me to decide who is capable of what, Mr. Wagner. Would you consider vacating the house for a couple weeks until things calm down? We can't possibly do that, Mr. McGuffin. This is our home. We want to set things right. The autopsy showed that she was poisoned. After questioning everyone in the house, it seemed nearly all of them had some reason to dislike her. Javita, the Latina maid, was the one who brought food to her. But this wasn't enough to press charges. I had no evidence of tampering. Christmas was just around the corner and I got an invite from Mr. Wagner to join them for dinner. I had my doubts about sharing a table with a possible murderer, but I had to know more. But before I had any chance to snoop around, something else happened. No witnesses, no evidence. Something that can happen only on some very specific circumstances. Right weather, right spot, and the right time.
I know we've had our difficulties this year, but don't let that ruin our Christmas. As a family, we have each other. We should remember our friends and our faithful employees we have lost. <sighs> I'm not sure how you expect to win another term in the Senate with speeches like that. Dad. Alistair, could you bring another bottle of Burgundy, please? And on your way, could you turn on the Christmas lights? Certainly, sir. Mr. Wagner, this is Wayne Preston from the Herald. I wonder if I could ask you some questions about the recent deaths at Dante Manor. This is a private line. How did you get this number? Five deaths within a few months is quite a sensational story, Mr. Wagner. The public needs to know. Winter Hill Police Department. This is Senator Charles Wagner. Please put me through to Detective McGuffin. The press are closing in on this, Mr. McGuffin. I have an election coming up, and I can't let this get out of control. I sympathize with you, Mr. Wagner. These journalist types are like vultures around every sad case I get. They just love tragedies. But what can we do? It's a free country. I need to keep this out of the papers, Mr. McGuffin. We've had a run of bad luck. It's as simple as that. The stakes are high, and I'm under a lot of pressure to clear this up. The pressure is on both of us. Your mess is making the precinct look like a joke, and my superiors are not going to take it lightly. Yeah, well, you won't know the half of it unless you get this wrapped up. Is that a threat, Mr. Wagner? That's not something you want to find out. A couple of phone calls can do wonders. I'm ashamed. It's you. You did this. You little shit. You did it all. You. <laughs> Tom? It's me, Charles. Please open the door. The current time is 10.40 p.m. Eastern Daylight Time. Oh shit, no. Not this, no. Not this, no. Mr. Wagner, I'm at a loss for words. You came to your own conclusions, Detective. Our family is suffering a great shame now. I have little hope after this. I want you and your men out of this house by nightfall. There's nothing more for you here. We'll take care of our own problems from now on. Again, I'm really sorry for your loss. I'll say a prayer for you and your family, Mr. Wagner.
Forgive me, Father, for I have sinned. It has been, oh, I don't know, a long time since my last confession. There's a family. Their home is befallen by calamities. I can't explain. I've been trying to help, but I may have involved myself too far. I, I've been having nightmares, terrible scenes playing through my head, and this family, they are the players. It sounds to me like this family needs help, my son. It sounds to me like the church should intervene. I went weeks without a proper night's sleep. I just couldn't wrap my head around everything as if something was evading me. I resorted to the church for help. My hope was that they could visit the house and maybe help some of the people there, offer counsel, whatever it is priests do. I was wrong. Predictably, there was another accident, this time in the garden. One of the most bizarre things I had ever seen. I had no solid explanations, and the press were hounding the department for information. Those vultures were constantly circling the mansion. Everything in my world was falling apart. I was interviewing Charles Wagner on a daily basis now. He tried to tell me this was in a totally different realm. His father, Fabius, who I thought was a little batty, had gone missing by this stage. Everyone presumed he just took off to escape the stress. What's really going on, Dad? Have we been cursed? Do we have enemies? Are we being extorted? Or is this some sort of vendetta? Don't talk such rubbish, Charles. You're grabbing at straws. I know enough about your past mob ties. I know how we got our money. You don't know shit. And don't ask. Just be thankful for what I've given you. Have you no feelings, Dad? Why didn't you come to Tom's funeral? He was a wastrel, and he died a wastrel's death. He was no son of mine. That's cold by any stretch. You're a heartless, bitter old man. Who's given you everything you could have ever possibly wanted, and now it's time for payback. There are events afoot which are far beyond anything you would understand. I'm gonna lose this election. My world is falling apart. Lucius won't speak. Nancy is losing her mind, and you're crazy too! We're all just pawns in the larger scheme of things. These people, they're just fodder for death's eventual scythe. You only need to play your role, Charles, and be a good boy. There are rewards for those who endure to the end. Good afternoon, miss. I'm Father Lagel of the Winter Hill Diocese, and this is Father De Cosimo. We've heard of the unfortunate tribulations that have befallen this house, and we've come to offer a blessing for better days for this place. Would the master or mistress be home? that? What? Get the hell out of my house, bloody parasites! Take your skirts back to the poor mix in town. They'll swallow your Jesus crap. But get off my lawn, or I'll give you a reason to pray for your Easter bunnies. Peddling the tripe here on my property. Make sure they're let out those gates.
Who are you? What are you doing here? Ah. Ah! You surprised me. I'm Wayne Preston from the Herald. I'd like a word with you about recent events here at Dante Manor. I'm willing to pay handsomely for information. Don't you know who I am? Oh! Mr. Wagner, I'm so sorry. I tried the doorbell, but there was no answer. It looked like it would rain, so I simply... You're trespassing. I could have you shot. Hey! Wait now! Come on, my boy. It's time we talked. So, you've been exploring, and you found the chamber. Well done, Lucius. Get your clothes on and meet me down there. Don't let anyone see you on the way. I noticed that not everyone is sleeping yet. So, you've been led here. You found the chamber. Well done, Lucius. My two dumbass kids played down in these cellars for years and never suspected a thing. I had this chamber built with a mansion, you know, back in the day. This is where it all happens, Lucius. This is the heart of Dante Manor. All sorts of things have happened here. I have entertained guests of the highest stature. Now is the time for you to discover your destiny. You have a calling, Lucius. I have been expecting you for much longer than you can imagine. My sons have been a disappointment to me. But it is you I have been waiting for. You will show us all the way. But you've been reckless in your learning, Lucius. Jeopardized everything. You've brought too much attention on us. And now we have to deal with it. You can't risk discovery. Don't worry. After we dispose of him the right way, you will become much stronger. This is a holy place where the blood will work for us. Well, mainly for you. That's you, isn't it, my boy? Why don't you talk? Are you the prophecy? The master said he'll take his due from my bloodline. I'm sure you are what he meant. Get this table ready for the ritual while I find the correct scripture. What is this place? What the hell? Just let me go. Okay, little boy! Okay now, let's just calm down and try and figure out what happened here.
The Book of Leviathan, Anton LaVey, invocations to Satan? Prepare war, wake up the mighty men, let all the men of war draw near, let them come up. Jesus, Dad, what were you getting into? Nancy, I think Lucius might be cursed. It's the only explanation I can find. Dad has been missing for weeks, and it seems he was into some really crazy occult stuff. I can't rule out the possibility that my father had something to do with this. But we need to get Lucius to a psychologist to find out. He can't tell us anything himself. Oh my god! Charles! Have we not been through enough already? Things just kept deteriorating. The boy's tutor killed himself. Everything should have been clear by now, but something was obscuring the truth. The gun he used belonged to Charles Wagner. But at the time of the shooting, Wagner was talking to his chauffeur in a different room. The gun was kept in a safe in Wagner's office and not even loaded. It baffles me how the teacher could have gotten to it. It made me think. He could have blackmailed the driver somehow and arranged this whole thing. But it was all just speculation. The mansion was in complete disorder. Mrs. Wagner was clearly suffering and in a fragile state. Some of the people I interviewed told me they had heard her talking to herself and laughing without any reason. Who could blame her? Especially after what happened next. It would have taken a genie to pull this one off. We did manage to discover that Uncle Tom's little film bin had another purpose. So there might have been a small hole for an opportunity. I just couldn't figure out how. Mr. Wagner was now completely convinced that somehow his family was cursed. It all seemed very far-fetched at the time. This case has aged me considerably, Mr. Wagner. I'm no happier about being back here than you are to see me. I'm ready to take a whole new angle on things here. Another accident, right? Figures. I know it's starting to sound like a broken record, but the door was locked from the inside, so that's what it honestly looks like. Although my gut is telling me something else. Just do what you have to do. I honestly believe we've been cursed, and nothing can stop this. I hadn't ruled that out either. I asked the parish priest to come and offer counsel. So you told them to come here. My father reacted quite badly. <sighs> we need to find your father, Mr. Wagner. I really believe he can provide us with more information. I don't know how much longer I can keep the feds off this. They're asking me questions about a reporter who went missing. He was investigating your family when it happened. No, sir. I didn't see anything. I was in the other room trying to fix the washer. When I came back, the car was running, and he was lying on the floor. Let me get this straight. You were in the next room and didn't hear the car starting by itself. No, sir. I didn't hear anything over the music. I know how it sounds, but I swear I'm telling you the truth. Yeah, right. Well, you can explain that to the judge. I'm going to go get the deputy here. So this is just to make sure you don't go do anything stupid.
What the hell happened here? I left the room for like five seconds. Holy shit, is that Will? I just had coffee with him this morning. I can't take much more of this. We need to leave this godforsaken place. We are not going anywhere. Call the paramedics and let them know we have another body here. Why are we still here? We should leave now. I'm not staying a minute longer inside this house. Nancy, I need you to be calm. I've called the priest for help. If they can't, no one can. You can't still seriously believe that a seven-year-old boy could be behind this. That's what I'm going to find out. In the meantime, stay away from Lucius. Listen, Charles, I'm going to wait for you in the garden with our son. If you don't show up, then we will leave without you. That thing is not our son, and I'm going to prove it to you. I saw the whole thing. It's over now. You're Get under your arrest. Hands off me! Stay with the kid. I'll go after him. I'll call for backup. He eluded us, somehow, until we finally caught him in the act. All the signs of his deteriorating mental state had been there all along. I remember watching him pull the trigger on that nail gun. It felt like time was slowing down as the nail went through her skull ripping pieces of her brain with it onto the lawn. Her body fell to the ground like a lifeless ragdoll, and all the questions, the mysteries, the suspicions were put to rest. Charles Wagner killed her right in front of our eyes, and when we tried to apprehend him, he managed to escape. I told the deputy to take care of the kid, who witnessed the whole horrible event, and I went after the perpetrator. I was in close pursuit when I lost control of the car and crashed into a ditch. I tried to notify the deputy. There was a chance Wagner would double back to the mansion, but there was no answer. When I finally arrived, the worst had already happened. Holy Spirit, I command you to leave this child alone! 